Thank you. Representative Scott Petrie. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Secretary, for being here today. I wanted to ask you about um, the uh, tourism piece. I heard recently that, um, well, let me, let me back up. The last time we had the national biotechnical, or I should say international show, uh, we, we had learned that uh, probably wouldn't come back until the convention center was expanded, and of course we know that's now complete. I heard recently that in fact the international expo um, for the bio industry is in fact coming back to Philadelphia. Can you tell me what the economic value of that is, and then is your department involved in assisting uh, in any way by way of dollars in attracting exhibitors and businesses? Yes, it will be in Philadelphia in June of 2015. Um, my uh, people went to the uh, convention in Chicago this year just to see what it was all about and to make sure that it, uh, we can make improvements on it. There will be one in San Diego uh, uh, early summer. Uh, we are extremely involved uh, in that. I can't tell you what the exact impact will be on Philadelphia, but it's major. It's probably it'll probably be one of the biggest uh, conventions that they can have down there. It it will be well attended. We want to make sure it's done right because um, it, it will make the state of Pennsylvania and the city of Philadelphia look very good if it's done right. It's a well attended convention. Yeah. If you could um, try to obtain the f uh, estimated financial figures, I, I believe uh, I heard some numbers floating around. But well, we, we, we know what what the impact was in Chicago. We can at least get their number, and we think it's going to be bigger in Philadelphia because Philadelphia is actually more convenient to get to than Chicago. Well, congratulations on that good news. Uh, I know that will be a major uh, influx of of dollars for uh, the Southeast. Um, with regard to the CFA, it's my understanding that the Commonwealth Finance Agency does have uh, some uh, a low interest loan program for uh, renewable energies or alternative energies. Uh, and I know that the CFA payments are within your budget. Do they give you information on the number of loans they have outstanding, both residential and commercial, for alternative energies and, and how that program is going? Yeah, I, I think we have that. Total number of grants? Yeah, not for that particular program. Okay. We can get that. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll get to the exact number. Okay, yeah, and if you could just uh, identify how many residential loans are outstanding, what the commercial loans are outstanding, and what the general repayment terms. I've heard that they're very low interest rate loans, somewhere around 1%. And I think it's an important program, but we want to make sure those dollars are revolving and coming back in. Right. Um, last question on this topic. Is it fair to say that you really don't have, as an agency, any authority over the CFA um, with regard to what they do or don't do, that they're following whatever parameters we created in that program, and um, and you don't really, you can't really change the program without some assistance from us. If well, necessary. a lot of the applications come into our department, and we have the scoring mechanism, but okay. we really don't control how the money goes out. It's a, uh, it's a, as you know, each of the caucuses have a vote, and it's a, it, it has to work its way through the system. Yeah. So okay. we don't have total control of it. Generally, do you attempt to score or analyze how the CFA is doing in an economic sense? We certainly do. And what's what's the department's um, scoring or position on, on how they're doing as far as stimulating the economy? Stimulating the economy and meeting the objectives of the CFA, I think we're doing very well. Very good. Uh, thank you. Uh, 